Hi everyone, Anita here from Let's Get Rural. I'm in the little town of Rochester in Victoria. You're about to see some stories, hard hitting, of some members of the community in Rochester that were affected by the floods in 2022. Tim is our mental health ambassador and he is going to be having a chat to some locals. G'day, Tim here, still in Rochi, and now we're having a chat with Wayne. Wayne, how are you going, mate? Good, mate, sir. Yeah, good. So, how long have you been in Rochi? Oh, about 11, 12 years. 11, 12 years. So, just over half the loss. Yeah. So, you're looking good for 22. <laughs> so, just over 11 years. So, you were here with the flood before this one? Yes. So, what's the difference between that flood and the last one that's just come through? Well, the last one was coming through. We pretty much have never got a wine house. We've never got a drum town. And we've got a pretty much a bit of a drug ball. But then, this time, we sort of come through, got a wine house, got a drum town. So with your wine house, your brother's house, your mum's house, how high did the water come through? Ah, mum and dad got through about that one. About 50 mil or so? Yeah. Oh, probably maybe 100. Maybe. Yep. Ah, uh, my brother's house had about two foot of water. Three foot of water? Yeah, we put roughly about a half. I still love water coming through. It's been forced a lot of damage somehow. Yeah. So, what, with everything that happened with the, the three homes, what was the impact that it had on you guys? And what help did you get to try and well, save from it? There's as far as help, it was basically a gap. We were, yeah, we were up the bar, so we. Pretty much we were away most of the time. So the help we got was hard. Uh, so with the driver of trucks, could you get back into town to try to get to your problem and start? We can get back and get to see what Danny had done for about two weeks. So that would make you couldn't get it. They left me today, you couldn't get it? No. Because of the safety? Yeah, well, I had all the run. Everywhere was blocked off with the place. So you said it took like two weeks, it's going two weeks to get back in. Yes. So, your mum's old boy. Yeah, and dad's on. He got cancer, mum's old boy. And that's what I was doing all the time. And they wouldn't, allow, they wouldn't allow you back in, so they could take your mum and dad out to a safer place. Well, actually, we all went to 2011. So I don't dad said, we're not going out to the place. So this time when it's you know set it by the dumb. So you got them out? Yeah. Well that's good. Uh, how do you think that affected the neighbours in the community? Oh well, I don't know. Actually when we got back we uh, first day after we well, out back in, I had a big truck here and I was going to pick up the yep. rubbish and everything. But it's just doing what you just done, and I can see the tears in your eyes. Cures me, dude. That is one of the hardest things you can do to help your community, and when you see everything go with crap. And you see the wall lines. That's not right. At all. Not much warning. Something coming down so fast. When it could be stopped further down the road. Town people said nothing worried out. Nothing getting on. 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 Well, this is our last week of the month. All that time. We did. 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 We
That's not in tiles, Wasn't it one? It was probably within an AI area. That's how. And the advanced warning system didn't even say, look, what's this going to happen? You've got a massive amount of that. No, but in the 2011 plus, the water commission and Man, we've got a brief plan. We're going to build a diversion. Well, how does it work? How about we still buy them? But where, where was the diversion channel we're going to send it? Who knows? They spent thousands of millions of dollars building this diversion channel. This is going to save it. So, what, what help would you actually get the last lot? I, we got. Well, Nothing really. Not from your local council, your, your state, your local parliament member, not from the state. It's like now. You have, you drive around any of the streets around here. Yeah. All the roads are still all locked down. Nothing from Yeah. Not from the state. 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 Not from the this is what things like this have been doing to Wayne and his community and his families and his friends and everything else. Where's the help? Where's the help from the, the local council, from the your local state member of parliament, your state parliament? Where's the help for people like Wayne and his family and his mates and the businesses around those areas? And, Get these things. You know, chuck everything into the bigger townships and areas like that. What about the small communities of Rochester and Newbridge and Colburn Avenue and places like that actually need this kind of help? It's in a more dire situation than the bigger towns down the track that you send everything else out to. It's the smaller communities like the one that Wayne lives here in Rochester that show the heart, that show the passion, that show the love like Wayne and his friends and everything else he's done and the love of his community. Come on down and have a chat with people like Wayne. Get their intake on the story like I have in the yard, car yards that I'm putting in and everybody else is putting in to bring this to attention of people that need to listen. Wayne, thank you Wayne and I'm going to give you a call. Come on. Good and that. That's when you were in the last song, the last words, and go home. Always been kick out. So, I mean, you're a good one.